Rock out! LG is giving customers another cool option to spruce up their entertainment experience. We'll zero in on that on today's Tech Yeah! Hey everyone, I'm Seema Modi. LG Electronics has rolled out four new home theater systems, and one in particular offers consumers premium streaming content from embedded partners such as Netflix, Vudu, YouTube, Pandora, and VTuner. But what other features does this one have that makes it a standout as we look at gadgets for the holidays? With us now to talk about that is LG Electronics Director of New Product Development, Tim Alessi. Hi, Tim. Hi, Seema. How are Tim, you? I'm great. Thank you. Tim, we know that the soundbar has a limited suite of streaming media services, but talk to us about some of the other cool features that the soundbar has. Well, soundbar is the one of the fastest growing categories in the electronics industry today. Only, only a few years ago, it didn't even exist. But as TVs got flatter and flatter, the challenge is to get good sound out of it. So what sound bars do in general are, are make it much easier to get fantastic sound out of your TV. What our sound bar does is combine uh, 300 watts of power, so you get a, a really powerful sound, a, a separate subwoofer, it's a 2.1 channel system, and as you mentioned before, it's the only sound bar on the market which gives you access to internet delivered content from Netflix and, and apps like that which is also one of the really popular and growing categories in electronics today. Well, that sounds pretty cool, Tim, but how is it doing in terms of sales? It's doing great. We're, uh, we're distributed nationally through channels like Best Buy, Amazon.com, and a lot of local retailers. Okay. Uh, so people are really responding to the easy setup and use of the, of the sound bar itself, plus the ability to eliminate an extra box that they may need uh, for their internet streaming. So the ability to combine both of those functionalities into one very simple and very great looking product uh, has made it extremely popular. Yeah, so I was doing a little bit of research, Tim. How does the LG soundbar uh, stack up against competitors such as the, the Sony HT CT260, I believe, and the Bose uh, mm -hmm. Solo TV sound system or other sound systems out there? How does, how does the soundbar stack up against its competitors? Well, when you compare it to uh, products like the Sony that you mentioned, it's, uh, it's similar in its specifications and design, however, has a couple of key advantages, such as it can be wall-mounted under a TV without any extra brackets, um, and probably the most significant difference is the streaming capability. With the Sony, you have to have uh, a TV that already has that capability or buy a separate box uh, in order to, to do that. So that's, uh, that's a lot more convenience built into one package. So streaming capabilities, that's a, that's a perk with the soundbar. Now, how important are the aesthetics of the soundbar? Because I was looking at some of the pictures, and i got to say it's a pretty sleek and stylish product. Uh, is that something that's taken into account? I remember the big four-foot-tall speakers that my parents would have back in the day, but since right. then we've seen uh, a lot of innovation in this specific space. Yeah, that's right. Uh, aesthetics are very, very important. And we try to make it as slim and sleek as possible because uh, that's what uh, is appealing to people about flat panel TVs. And we, want, we don't want to have to ruin that whole feeling with a big bulky speaker. What's made these so popular besides the easy setup and use is how it integrates beautifully with the TV, whether it's whether it's a TV that's sitting on a stand, it'll, it'll sit right below the front bezel, it won't obstruct your view, and it doesn't uh, take up a lot of space in the room. Or if it's wall-mounted, it can sit right on, underneath it on the wall, and it doesn't project much out of the wall either, so it, it has an overall really nice unified look. Now, when you say easy setup, is it really an easy setup, or is it? do you need to be a very tech-savvy person in order to mount it on your wall? No, not at all. Uh, okay. the, the mounting on the wall is very simple. It's a lightweight unit in and of itself. The, the subwoofer is, is separate, so that can be placed anywhere in the room, and it connects wirelessly to the sound bar. So there's nothing to even hook up there except to plug that into the wall. The sound bar itself connects to the TV very simply with an HDMI cable. It's like hooking up a cable box or a Blu-ray player and you're good to go. Tim, this was fun. Thanks so much, and all of you out there for watching, thank you. I'm Seema Modi. Have a great day.